I bought the iShoot indexing rotating panorama head to fit this tripod which is Manfrotto 190XB it's a reasonably solid little tripod this has a uh, 3 8 inch stud for mounting and a 60 millimeter plate the eye shoot head is a little bit over 60 millimeters so it's the perfect size for this tripod screw that on like that tighten that up and we're in business okay the head has coaxial control system the large knob controls the ARCA compatible clamp the small knob locks the head to the base the clamp has printed gradations and a clearly marked center line the base appears to have I'm not sure if they're engraved or not but they're low contrast, very thin markings, very hard to see. And the, it's got one single index dot, which is also very hard to see. The unit comes with a compass in there and a level in there. Not particularly useful once you've got something mounted on the clamp. When I unpack the unit, the surface is contaminated with grease, which had leaked from inside this joint here. The grease is extremely thick and very, very sticky. You can't, you can't wipe it off, you have to wash it off. I was able to clean the surface of this with an oily rag and it's removed the grease, but there's still now more grease coming out of this, this gap here. You wouldn't want to get any of that grease on your photographic gear and certainly not on any of your lenses or LCDs or viewfinders. It'd be a nightmare. The unit was so stiff when I took it out of the box, the grease had set, so I left it sitting in hot sun for a while, heated the whole unit up and that actually got the grease to flow to the stage where I could actually rotate this. It was almost frozen solid, the grease was so thick. The unit has a control knob here which has four settings plus off Zero degrees indicates that there's no indexing happening. There's a fairly positive progression from one position to the next. You can feel quite clearly when it's moved from one to the next, which is nice. And I, I quite like the position and the idea of having that knob built in rather than some of the others that screw into the side. The frequency of the indexing is set by this knob. 15 degrees is the most often you can set the indexing and you can hear a click by the way I'm having to hold the tripod because this is so stiff with, even with this unlocked just from the, the grease itself that the tripod would not sit still on this table so holding the tripod with one, one hand and you can hear the clicking you can feel the indexing and if you take care you could let the indexing stop your camera and head from rotating but once it's in each index position it can still move quite a significant amount it's as if the, it's as if the ball is too small for the index or the index is too large for the ball so you're never going to get exactly repeatable positions which is a bit of a shame but it sort of works. 30 degrees, not so good. You can hear a click as you go past, but you'll have a lot of trouble actually finding each of those index positions. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. It's possible that with use, like quite a lot of extra use, this might improve as the, as the grease gets thinner, but I think that the grease is the wrong thing to be using in a head like this. 45 degrees, Worse than 30 degrees, clicking is barely audible, and you've got virtually no hope of finding the index positions. Uh, 90 degrees, not particularly useful for panoramas, maybe for some 360 degree stuff, um, but basically they're almost non-existent 
have trouble even hearing a click or feeling anything whatsoever. And of course zero degrees works fine. Indexing's not working there, not required. So yeah, great looking little unit, just lot I want, you know, small, not very high, right diameter, right features, can be fitted directly to the tripod. Arca Swiss compatible clamp. Seems quite well made. Great. But I think there's two issues with it. One is the indexing is not doesn't seem to be set up accurately. And the second is this hideous grease that, that the thing has been packed with. I think it detracts quite a lot from the usefulness of the of the unit. I'd rather have a free spinning unit that had positive indexing rather than what we've got here. I think this is possibly a one defective unit. I've I've only ever seen this one. Maybe all of iShoot's other units are just fantastic. But the one I've got here is virtually useless. Really not happy with it at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've had a problem with yours or you can recommend another unit or similarly priced one that's better than this, let me know in the comments.